The basketball season, of course, ended with only one Houston area team coming home with the gold. We take a quick preview now of next year's season as we go next level. John Poorman from the Houston Chronicle joins us now. Hey, John, Hitchcock brought home the gold and Booker T came awfully close. What teams and players should we look out for next year in the Houston area? Yeah, well, we'll start with the only state champion from Houston since 2017, the Hitchcock Bulldogs. Uh, as you mentioned, got it done there in San Antonio, bringing home the 3A championship. They're basically bringing everybody back next year, and that's led by their big three, uh, Elijah Sherwood, Damian McDaniel, and Lloyd Jones III, all of whom were all state tournament selections uh, there in San Antonio for their play and leading the Bulldogs to their first ever title. And then, you know, you take a look at Washington, which finished as the 4A runner-up. You know, they're bringing back some pieces as well, most notably uh, Chris McDermott, who really was one of the best players uh, in San Antonio that I saw for sure, um, really kept uh, Washington in this thing. And then Otis Carter Jr., who dropped 24 points in the semifinal against Bernie. I mean, these two guys are coming back as seniors, and, and they're going to be hungry to get this program back to the state tournament. Uh, you know, some others to watch, obviously Seven Lakes uh, made it to the regional tournament this year. A.J. Bates, uh, their point guard, talented point guard, is coming back as a senior. Uh, you know, you look at Fort Ben Marshall making it to the regional final this year. Of course, they lose Jalen Lowe, but that was a young team overall. And uh, Chris Ketchings has a chance to step into a, a big role as their number one guy. And then at the private school ranks, I'm looking at Houston Christian, which won the SBC championship this past year. And, uh, you know, they had a, a great uh, sophomore guard in Montana Wheeler, who was one of the 10 finalists for the Guy V. Lewis Award. So he's coming back next year. They're going to be hungry for more success. So those are just some of the teams that I'm looking forward to seeing in, uh, in the next season. All right, John, thanks so much for joining us and sharing your knowledge the entire school year. We will catch up with you again in August.